Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a salon day for you guys. I have five clients today and I'll show you a little bit of each and every one of them. If you have never seen my channel before, my name is Brett Ryan. I am a blonde and color correction specialist located in beautiful Orange County, New York, upstate New York, about an hour and a half northwest of New York City. I am a salon suite owner and been doing hair for about three years. I give content constantly every week. So if you want to join our family and community that is growing rapidly, please feel free to do so. I hope you get all the knowledge and education you want. So my first client is my girl Ophelia. You guys know her from my intro. She's been my client for about two and a half years now. She actually moved into her own suite, graduated hair school and did her own thing. She's amazing in lashes. She's killing it right now. And she's my neighbor right down the hallway. I'm so proud of her. And we're gonna be going in and packing in a half baby light. This is our second or third session getting her lighter. She likes to always tone it down and play around with different colors. So today she really wants to be blonde. So I'm just gonna pack them in really tight and get her as light as possible without letting her hair get too damaged. You guys, how cute are these Framar foils? Cheetah print, leopard print, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> We're packing these baby lights in tightly packed minimal subsections, which means not a lot of hair left in between. Actually, no hair at all. I'm just leaving whatever is weaved out of my stitch. And that's how I usually do it 90% of the time because most people want to be lighter and blonder. Another thing I include in my half baby lights, which are one of my most popular things, is I always include 9 to 12 foils, depending on the person's hair density, underneath the neck area. Because you see the meat in the sandwich underneath that top crown area is all left out. So I like to add a few of them underneath the neck area so when they wear their hair up for ponytails, whether you're a nurse, just anybody in general walking around and you want to make it look like your hair is entirely fresh, it looks that way. I am using Joyco Blonde Life with 20 volume and a 16th ounce of Olaplex, my ride or die. I have been falling in love with trying new lighteners lately and let me tell you, Joyco has my heart right now. I tried it years ago for about a week or two, but I really, really like using it right now. Client number two is just a great coverage client. This girl has been with me since hair school. I know it's crazy, but it's true. Kim, I love her so much. She is my copper client. We're gonna go in and do 7NN with 20 volume gel lacquers, Reckon. Um, I'm not a big fan of them, but they were out of top sheet Goldwell, which is my ride or die permanent color line. And also we're gonna refresh her ends with Shades EQ 6CB, 7CC, and 8CR. I'll apply the root color, and then once I'm done, I'll have my assistant Kathy spray some water all over the hair and apply this toner so it can sit the same time as the roots process. Shout out to Fanola. They're my family. They got me this apron. They sent it to me and I love it. They all know. Everybody who follows me knows I hate wearing aprons and I ruin clothes and spend thousands upon thousands of dollars a year on clothing. But I did try it. They sent it to me and I did wear it today and I love it. Thank you guys so much for being my family. So client number two is processing. Now client number one has processed and we're gonna be doing her root toner. I'm doing a root shadow and I'm doing 5N, 5NA, Reckon Jade ZQ. 
I went to Shadow Jesse in Utah a couple weeks ago, and you guys know I always do a root tap, shadow and smudge, depending on the length of what we're trying to do with the look we're trying to achieve. But I would sometimes use different levels. For example, a tap, I would use an eight or nine. Well, I learned from Jesse, no matter what, to always use the client's natural base color. Even if you're doing a tap, do that half an inch, but still do a six if they're a natural six. It doesn't fade out brassy, and boy, oh boy, was she right. I've been obsessed with doing it this way. I do have a root toning video from way back when I was at my last salon, but I'm going to do a new updated one. Let me know down below if you want that, and I'll get it out there for you guys as quickly as possible. Client number one and two have been blow dried and they're out the door getting photos done by my assistant. Now we're gonna move client number three in. This is my girl, Allison, love her so much. She's an example of a level eight naturally. She's so blonde. It's so easy to get her to that level white blonde, level 10. So we're going to go in and do a half baby light, which is one of my most popular foils. Um, it's because it's cheaper, it saves some time, and everything looks done. Once you get to that gold color with your fulls, you no longer need to do a full all the time. You can do a full once or twice a year. You could do a full even every two years, depending on your hair and how long it grows and how quickly. So we're going in, and I mean we're doing minimal baby lights. You can see how small and fine they are. And when you're working with somebody that's really light like this, you want to be very, 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 very careful. You guys know by now the trick I like to use where I take Olaplex number two around the face frame especially. And once I tap that little bit of regrowth with the bleach, I apply that Olaplex number two on the ends so that it's protected. Well, I did that for her, of course, and I do that for mostly all of my clients. I've seen really good results, a lot of hair growing back on a lot of people who have a lot of breakage around the face that's always the first place to go so she does have hand tied extensions in so I foiled underneath her neck as well so when she pulls her hair up it looks like everything's done now client number four is rolling in while client number three is processing and we're doing a 7NN 6NA Reckon Gel Lacquers we're gonna lighten her base up a little bit even though we used to do 5NN 6NN so it will look a little bit lighter like Hot Rudy but that's fine, she's okay with it until the next session when we're gonna kick through all that. This is my client, Stephanie. She has psoriasis and she loses hair a lot and I know that her hair looks a little dry and whatnot, but that's just her texture. Her hair's always felt that way, it's always been that way. We do bleach it, but I don't even think we bleached it in about probably like five months. We took a break off of bleach and just did the root toner and this is another session of that. We're just gonna refresh her ends with a toner and just do her root color touch up. You can see how it's already a lot lighter. You know what I mean? And now how I merged it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're blind. Don't you get sick of me saying that every time you're here. You see this? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And I know she sure. tells us she can't see every time and I still do it. So Allison lifted like a dream as I expected. So we're gonna just slightly tap her everywhere with a 9N, 9NA. And when a client is this light naturally, I will, and this solid, I will leave their hairline out completely. We didn't have to tap it at all. We left it really bright and fresh. I also did make a mistake. I had six clients today, not five. This client is number five. She came in real quickly just to get a haircut. She came a couple weeks ago. You've probably seen her in one of my videos. She got a partial highlight. I tried to convince her to get a haircut. She didn't want to do it. And then she called and said her hair is feeling a little dry. I'm telling you guys, you always have to trim and dust your hair after bleach. It is the best thing to do or you will start getting breakage. Also guys, feel free to let me know down in the comments section if you want to see more cutting videos. You know, I don't really talk much about it, but I do cut very well. I'm actually teaching my assistant some tips and tricks right here on camera. That's why I decided to bring this part up. So definitely, if you want to see some in-depth cut tutorials, feel free of letting me know down below, and I'll do that for you. Final client of the day is my girl Samara, client number six, another half baby light. <laughs> Just basically touching up those roots. She lifts like a dream. She's a perfect level 910. 
So we're gonna go and do a dedicated video for her. So I'm just gonna show a couple of clips and then we'll wrap this video up here today. just had a niece, or a nephew, right? A nephew, a Samara has a nephew. He literally came out in five minutes. Literally. Not even, they're like, oh, she's going to labor. Boom, out, done. Big bag, boom. Oh, he wants belly. to get here quick. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for another video. Is now in the history books. Let me know down below video ideas you want to see. I wanna make sure I'm constantly putting out content you guys want. I'm about to go full throttle into this YouTube thing on both of my channels. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. My personal channel's down there in the description box, so be sure to click that and give me a nice little subscribe. Every like, subscribe, comment helps a ton. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. As always, guys, so long for now. <laughs>